Welcome back. So, I've come to realize something, which is nobody watches this stuff. Can say whatever I want because if you look at the view counts, there is like a thousand, two thousand. Some videos, clickbaity ones, get like ten thousand views. If I was unboxing children's toys, I'd get millions. So, that being said, since nobody watches this, I'm just gonna tell you how it is. And I wrote a blog post on enmiopia.org today, actually. And it was about a guy who very sincerely, and I'm not shitting on this at all, said, amongst other things, I've searched for your name and reviews, and considering all the people you've helped, supposedly, Apart from nearly 300 on Trustpilot, not a lot comes back. Can you point me anywhere else to help support your claims? And this email kind of triggered in me this realization that there is no point. There is no point. There's no point. In the previous video, I was talking about motivation and how there's so many reasons to improve your eyesight and not rely on optometrists and that whole industry to just feed you a lens subscription and how to just take control of your life that's nonsense that's nonsense you just you just put on glasses put on glasses and get on with your life or contact lenses those work even better or if you got the money and you don't want to deal with all of that stuff then just get lasik right so easy and in the same post, which I link below, and I encourage you to absolutely not click on or read because it's a complete, complete waste of time. I posted several of the Facebook group improvement reviews. By the way, the Facebook group has like 13,000 members. And the other day, yesterday, I did a podcast with a really interesting dude about travel that's gonna come out maybe next week or so. And I mentioned him the Facebook group and he said, and I think we're already off the, off the chat, off the record, but he said, dude, there's flat earth groups that have more members than your Facebook group. And again, that added to my realization, like he's right. Like the fact that a few people care about myopia doesn't make it right, right? Like flat earth people, flat earth shit is more important to humanity, to more people than ending myopia is. That's where we stand. So if you're subscribed to this channel, if you're one of the currently 17,000 subscribers, you should probably unsubscribe because uh, just wear glasses. And then I posted some of these improvement reports, uh, which, so this one guy says, she started in December 2019, uh, was minus three, and now he's at minus 1.5, right? Like. Okay, so that's in six months, he went from minus three to minus 1.5. And as I say in the blog post, big whoop, still has myopia, still needs glasses. What is the point, right? And then there's another, there's a million of these, by the way, I post these all the time on end myopia like an idiot. There's hundreds and hundreds of these improvement reports, which, right, like all fall in the category of who cares? Like here's one, Armand. <sighs> and without glasses, he was able to read 2050 on the eye chart, right? Like, that's already not really myopia. And now he can read 2020. Like, really? I can see. I can see why people don't care. Like, who cares? And then there's Holly on here. Holly doesn't have astigmatism anymore. Like, <clears throat> as I'm saying this, I'm realizing you watching this video, there's probably a good 90% chance unless you're really into myopia, that you don't even know what astigmatism is. So, right, like, who cares? And then there's another one down from minus 4.75 to minus 3.25. As I'm reading this out, I'm realizing that to most people, those numbers mean nothing. And if those numbers mean nothing to you, let me explain them. Minus 4.75 is a bunch of myopia, and minus 3.25 is also a bunch of myopia. So, right i mean whatever and then there is sydney here i'm still looking through the latest post here of improvement reports from the facebook group by the way when i post improvements from from the email then people say i make them up like i'd have that much motivation right and when i post them from the facebook group they say they're bots which okay fine that's giving me a lot of credit so then i hear sydney who dropped from minus 10 to minus 6 
again, unless you're some kind of optometry expert, what does it even mean? Minus 10, again, minus 10 is a lot of myopia. Minus six is still a lot of myopia, right? Finally, finally, I feel like this channel is getting somewhere. Stop with all the enthusiasm. Just be the jaded humans that we are living on the planet that we're burning to the ground as much as possible while browsing Instagram feeds. Like, yay to us. We don't care. Um, then there is one here from Akash. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Who actually posted a... I don't know if you can see this. He posted a an actual screenshot of his improvement report. Which, hold your breath, down from minus 6.50 to 5.75. So, it's pretty much nothing, right? Um, but it's an improvement and his ophthalmologist confirmed it. But again, I can see why you don't care. Like I can see why there's a thousand views on these, on this channel because it's neither entertaining, nor is there any nudity, nor are we unboxing children's toys, nor are we reviewing memes. Like it's freaking pointless. God, Jake. By the way, I trade stocks and I invest in businesses otherwise for a living, which is way more productive than this stuff. Then there's Luis, uh, whose son got 2020 on the IQ machine. Dude, the IQ machine is kind of cool. You can buy it online. It's something super cheap. You put it on your phone. It measures your myopia, which in this case is not myopia. So, yay. And then uh, Elena discovered active focus. Yay. Um, and I posted this in the, uh, in the blog post also, which again, there's so many hints that I'm not taking. There's an optometrist who posted, who, who messaged me on the Facebook group the other day and he called active focus, whatever smart guy, right? I mean, he's, he's on point clearly. And he said that, uh, the best way to, to fix all of this is before you get an eye exam to get your focusing muscle paralyzed with eye drops. Right. And then do the eye exam, and that way you make sure you're not getting overcorrected, and that fixes the whole problem. The man is a genius, and I don't know why I bother. I don't know why I bother. I don't know why I bother posting all of this ophthalmology research, science, peer-reviewed stuff that explains the shit, and then the same people who, who this stuff is written for uh, have no clue, have no honest clue. I don't know why I bother. Like. If you, if you consider humanity, like if you spend 10 minutes reading the news, like the American president, who is that guy? And I'm not into politics and I'm not for or against stuff, but we're not dealing with geniuses, right? Like what's happening with Europe? Jesus Christ. Uh, Candace, a skeptic. And I was kind of excited about this. Like, yay, finally somebody's skeptical. And then she practiced active focus for six months, started having headache, go see the ophthalmologist. Jake is an idiot. No. Ophthalmologist says you're overprescribed. How are these prescriptions anyway? Lowest script by minus 0.5 and 0.75 doctors. So, like she anecdotally proved that active focus improves your eyesight and makes a marginal improvement. Again, I get your point. I see why you're not even bothering watching these videos. And yeah, and I think that's pretty much all there is to be said. You can improve your eyesight, I get it. You can improve your eyesight, but people are morons and people are fine with glasses and people are more worried about paying their bills and buying shit they don't need and having mortgages on houses they don't need and doing all that shit to waste their life and just kill time till they die. I get it, I get it, right? And, and if you have a fast internet connection and you have Facebook and you have Instagram and you have whatever the latest social media apps is, filling that time between where you're at now and the time you die is way more entertaining and way more interesting than it's ever been before, right? And what I'm saying is totally counterproductive because I'm saying go outside where it's hot because we're melting the planet and it's boring because everybody's inside on their Instagram is dumb, right? And if you're thinking I'm being sarcastic, maybe I'm not really supposed to be because Right, like I should be doing meme reviews, wearing my glasses. Ugh. Nobody watches this, so who cares? I would say like this video and subscribe to the channel, but really, who cares? And if you're improving your eyesight, great on you. Don't know why you're doing it. All you need your eyesight for is to see from here 
to your screen. And that's really it. Maybe I'll see you in the next one.